My name is uh, Agnes Turin, and I, I teach all the mathematics here that are useful um, in financial engineering. What I want to tell you today is what you need to know in mathematics before you start the program. And we offer some refresher courses that will help you um, get up to speed in math. I'm also going to recommend some textbooks uh, that, that you can read on your own. Um, so I'm going to go through a, a list of topics that you need to, um, to be familiar with. Uh, first of all, you need to know some calculus that's very essential. We taught a refresher course in calculus um, over the summer. We are trying to um, offer one uh, also in the fall and winter. I'm not sure that's going to happen. Uh, I recommend particularly a textbook in calculus that's absolutely excellent. It has been written by Dan Stefanica. The title is A Primer for the, the Mathematics of Financial Engineering. And it comes with a solutions manual. Uh, I'm saying it's excellent because it's fully um, aimed at um, uh, students in, in financial engineering. It teaches you the, the, the applications of calculus to financial engineering. Uh, for instance, it, it explains uh, the no arbitrage theory um, without using any probability. After all, in Black and Scholes, there is no risk. The risk is eliminated. Um, and it, has, it offers also many other applications to the pricing of bonds um, and so on. If you uh, want an alternate textbook, um, the uh, Shomes Outlines series are very good, and there is one in, in calculus. Um, they would, that, that will uh, cover the basic uh, tools that you need. But it won't, of course, um, include the applications to financial engineering. Uh, next, you will need to know some linear algebra, some basic linear algebra. We don't offer any course in, in, on that topic. Uh, you can read, for instance, the Shom's outline of linear algebra. Uh, the third topic is probability, of course, uh, and uh, we can recommend, again, the Shom's outline of probability, random variables, and random processes. We will offer in the, in the fall winter um, a refresher course on probability, and I invite you to, to attend it, even if, if you, even if you have some relatively strong background. In, in probability theory. Um, probability is very important for, for, because you need to, they, they, you need to compute um, probability of, of default, uh, of failure, um, when you assess risk. Um, so probability is absolutely essential in, in, in the program. You need to be very fluent, uh, actually, in fact, in probability theory. The next topic um, is uh, statistics, and we are going to offer a refresher course in statistics in the fall winter. Uh, what you need to know basically are the statistical test, confidence intervals, um, and regression. Regression is really important in finance. Linear regression for one variable, multiple regression, even nonlinear regression uh, is useful. And I can recommend once more. Uh, uh, Shom's outline um, of uh, statistics this time. Uh, now there are some additional topics I want to mention. There is optimization. Um, it's required too. And actually uh, optimization is treated in the book by Dan Stefanica too. Both uh, without constraint and with constraints. And finally um, I want to insist on numerical methods. You need to be aware of the basic numerical methods, such as um, the, uh, the methods for computing uh, integrals numerically, or the methods for solving nonlinear equations, such as the Newton's method, the bisection method. 
and these are also covered in a book by Dan Stefanica. Uh, now, what we are going to expect you to do is to be able to write codes and implement these numerical methods in the long run. Uh, in, each, in all the courses I teach, I always um, expect the students to write uh, code. If you haven't um, learned any um, language yet, I recommend that you start studying MATLAB because it, it's easy to learn. And you can have it installed on your laptop as soon as you uh, come in the department when you start the program. Um, so mathematics and writing codes really go in hand, so you won't escape this. I'm going to, um, I'm going to insist on this for every, every single course uh, that will be part of the, the assignments that will have to be ended in weekly. Uh, and that, that's about it. Uh, uh, maybe I should mention that in the long run, if you, uh, in order to find a job, you will need to learn uh, another language such as C++ or Java. Um, but for the most quantitative courses, you will only uh, basically need MATLAB.